Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with a really dirty name. At least I think it's pretty dirty. I'm kidding, my name isn't dirty, but the dog in the story is pretty dirty. Wait till we get to it, wait till we get to it. All right, I have a FIFA. That's what it said on the paperwork. A FIFA. A FIFA. What was it spelled? P F E I F E. FIFA. It's a whistle. That's my instrument for tonight. Before we get to the checklist, right? Here we go. It's time for the checklist. 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 Just like this. Who my ears are ringing just a little bit. I don't know how that's going to sound on the playback, but your ears are probably ringing too. I know y'all went like this every time. Anyway, boys and girls. Did you have a superb day today? I did. Check. I know you're like, really? Yeah, I did. I had a superb day today. All right, how's old tummies doing? Are they full and satisfied? Did you have a wonderful dinner? Check. And at that dinner, before or after, did you have a good conversation, chat, conference, converse, uh, meeting of the minds, a chit chat with your family, check, or speaking of a check, a check in, how about that, see how the day was and everybody had a chance to tell their story, all right, and let's move on to the homework, homework, did you get your homework done, I hope you got your homework done, you got to stay on top of that homework, you got to feed your mind, if you fed your din belly's dinner, feed your mind smartness, feed Feed it intelligence. Feed it knowledge, okay? Check. How's the house looking? Hey, did you take care of your chores? Did you help out around the house? Did you make sure things are in order? Did you pick up, clean up, put it away, clean up every day? Check. Did you go anywhere special today? Do something special today? Do something awesome, different, or the same but always fun? Check. Hmm. Let's see. How about your um, PJs? You picked them out yet? Yeah, I know I'm rocking my Minnie Mouse for a little while. It's going to be Minnie Mouse. The pants have Minnie Mouse on too. Da -da, da -da -da. Okay, so I'm on the Minnie Mouse train right now. But did you pick out your PJs so that you can be comfy at in bed tonight? And also, did you pick out your clothes for tomorrow? Because, you know, tomorrow's the last day of this school week. But you want to be ready anyway, no matter what. Check. Did you take your bath or your shower? Are you fresh and clean? Check. Did you dry off really well? Put your lotion on so that you can have smooth and soft skin? Check. Did you brush your teeth top, bottom, back, front, all over so they're shiny and white? And then also, did you floss them? And then after flossing, rinse out your mouth with some mouthwash or water, whatever you can use to complete that process. Check. Did you clean out your ears and your nostrils if need be, and possibly a throat gargle if you're having any issues there, soreness or congestion, you know, that helps. Check. Did you take one last opportunity to use the bathroom to pee or poo? So that when you go to bed, you'll be comfortable and hopefully you won't have to be interrupted in the middle of the night. Check any vitamins or medicines that you need to take before bed. Make sure you collab with your parents so that they can make sure that you do that carefully and safely and that you're consistent with that so that you get the desired results needed. Check. How about those night lights? Turn those night lights on, boys and girls, so you can see if you do have to get up in the middle of the night. Check. Is your room clean? 
Did you clean your room? That's an important chore. I always separate that chore because if you do nothing else around the house, you want to make sure that your room is clean. Check. All right, bedtime story. I got one for you, but maybe you're reading one or having one read to you or you're telling a story verbally and it doesn't have to come from a book or maybe you're doing a, a, a sing-along before you go to bed. Maybe even you play one last board game or interactive game with the family just to end out your day. However you do it, make sure there's a story time at the end of every night. Great way to go off to dreamland. Check. Now, did you give your I love yous, hugs, kisses, and smooches to your family members and pets that you live with? And of course, if you have guests over like your neighbors, other relatives, and friends, show them love as well. Check. And now, best part, getting tucked in as snug as a bug in a rug, under your blankets, your covers. It's getting that time of season. We're going to have to turn on the heat. Want to make sure we're all cozy. So we can drift off to sleep. You ready? Check. And before you do drift off to sleep, the last and final most important thing is don't forget to say your prayers. Make sure you say your prayers before you drift off into dreamland. Because that's the perfect way to always guarantee that your dreams are going to be just right. Check. Now, here we are talking about dirty. The title of this story is called Harry the Dirty Dog by Jean Zion, and the pictures are by Margaret Bloy Graham. Ooh-wee. It says, Harry is a white dog with black spots who hates to take a bath. Oh, no. What? That's one of the important things on our checklist. One day, he gets so dirty, he has black fur with white spots. Where's Harry? Now, we're going to have to figure this out. Oh, my goodness. Harry, the dirty dog. He don't like taking baths. Whatever shall we do? Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush. Wait, why did he take the scrubbing brush? Why did he take the scrubbing brush? I'll see this. And buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. That's a shame. You mean to tell me this dog didn't like baths that much that he ran away from home? Oh my goodness. He played where there were fix where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. Of course. Dirty must be his first, middle, and last name. This dog. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. That's why you can't take him nowhere. He at the railroad getting extra dirty. You can't take him nowhere. Oof. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. So he just getting dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. And he done ran away from home. Boys and girls, don't do that. Don't run away from home. Especially if your home is a loving, caring place. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Oh my. Now we know he certainly needs a bath now. Absolutely. I can't believe he ran away from home because he didn't want to take a bath. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry, too, so without stopping on the way, he ran back home. Oh, so now you're not going to run away from home, huh? You're going to run back home. This is what we doing, Harry. Harry, this is what we doing. Make up your mind. Huh? When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. 
One of the family looked out and said, There's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? Uh-oh. They don't even recognize him. He done got so dirty. He done inadvertently disguised himself. Halloween ain't until the end of October. Harry. Oh, Harry. When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks. He flipped, flopped, and he flopped, flipped, and rolled over and played dead. Oh, bless his heart. And they looking like, whose dog is this? I know this ain't our dog. Huh. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook their heads and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Wow. Well, he did, he did change his identity kind of drastic, didn't he? He flipped the script. Harry gave up and walked slowly towards the gate, but suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the whole barking, short, happy barks. Oh, okay. Now will they recognize him? Do y'all think? What do you think? He found the scrubbing brush and carried it in his mouth. He ran into the house. Up the stairs, he dashed with the family, following close behind, because they still think he's not Harry, or were they just pulling his leg? Maybe they knew he was Harry all the time. Who knows? But they like, whoa, dog, hey. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggie wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Because they apparently still think that that is not Harry. Well, they better get scrubbing because they, they got a lot of scrubbing to do. Harry's bath was the soapiest one he ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick. It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became once again a white dog with black spots. How long do you think that will last, boys and girls? Uh, if you have a pet dog, how long does it take before they get dirty? It was wait a minute. It was wonderful to be home after dinner. Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. Oh, look at you. Well, he clean again. Boys and girls, that's the end. Yes, indeed. They got him cleaned up. So he didn't get dirty right after he got cleaned up. So that's good. All right, boys and girls. I hope you guys are all clean. <laughs> you know that's on the checklist. All right. Harry's back clean. That was cute. Yes, that indeed was a dirty dog. Now, boys and girls, you know what time it is. Checklist is all done. You're in bed. You got your PJs on. You got your cuddle buddy that I forgot to ask in the checklist that you had. I've got mine. I hope you got yours. Check. Now it's time to get ready to dream. So close your eyes. Whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Maybe you dream about either having a dirty dog or being that dirty dog that was clean and then got all dirty. I don't know. Whatever you want to dream about. It's all up to you. Just get all snug as a bug in a rug, comfy and cozy, safe and sound. Allow your body to relax and be calm and quiet and be still and peaceful. And just drift off into dreamland so that you can dream that special dream.
All right, boys and girls, go for it. See you next time. Bye-bye.